Hello, Janet. How are you? Hi, teacher. I'm okay. Very good. And Patricia, how are you? Fine, teacher. Very good. And Gerardo Rivera, how are you? Fine, teacher. And you? I'm doing fine. Thank you for asking. Linda Funes, nice to see you. Thank you. Where were you? Um, pretty good. Um, where were you? Donde estabas? In here. <laughs> <laughs> here. Okay, I didn't see you. Mabel Franco, how are you? I'm fine, teacher, and you? Very good. Thank you for asking. Nice to see you. And Raul Alexander. Nice to see you. Nice to see you. Raul Alexander, how are you? Hi, good evening, teacher. I, I am fine. I'm okay, fine. okay. I don't see you. It's only me or Ricardo Mancia and Silvia Luna. How are you? Everything is fine. Thanks for asking me. Uh, thank you. Okay, you're welcome, sir. And uh, Sylvia Luna. Hello, teacher. Hello. You don't want me to see you tonight, huh? Okay. Right. Okay. Um, and uh, Janet, uh, tell me, where do you work? I work in a law firm. Law office or law firm? Law firm. Oh, law Lawyers. firm. And what do you do there? I'm a secretary. Oh, se secretary. Yeah. You're a secretary. Okay. And uh, what time do you go to work? Uh, I go to work at seven o'clock. Seven o'clock in the morning. Okay. Yeah. It's not too early. I thought you maybe start at seven or six o'clock in the morning, but not, huh? Yeah. Eight o'clock. Yeah, but I wake up uh, early. Oh, you wake up uh, early. So five, <clears throat> uh, four a.m. Uh, five thirty. Five a.m. Five, five thirty. Oh, 5.30. Oh, okay. That's very early. Yes. Very, okay. You must be tired at this time, huh? At this moment, you must be yeah. tired. Yes, since uh, 5 a.m. No? And, and mm. when? Mm. So, so. So, so. <laughs> you are strong. And when do you get it's, home? It's, it's all like... I get home at uh, five thirty or six. Five thirty six p.m. And uh, when do you go to work? Do you catch uh, the traffic? A little off, but and I, I, um, busco. Yes. Via uh, Salteo. Mm, how how say it in English? Okay, different roads, yes. A route. You yes. find the best route to go to work. And when you're coming back, when you get home, is yes. it the same traffic or it's different? Or is it lighter? It's different. It's uh, different. It's different uh, dependiendo del día. Depending on the day. So it, it, if, mm -hmm. if it is Monday, there's not much traffic. But uh, on Friday, a lot of traffic. Huh? Uh, it's it's uh, different because sometimes in, on Thursday, it's so crazy. But mm. on Fridays, it's, it's, it's less. Okay. So that means that it's crazy because uh, uh, Luis Hernan is driving, right, on Thursday. <laughs> okay. I don't know. You don't know. Okay, you never seen him. Okay, very good. Thank you, Yanet. And um, Gerardo Rivera, tell me, where do you work? 
Uh, I uh, work in work office because I am architect. You're, so you're an architect. So you work at home. Yes. You work at home. Work at home. And, um, and some days I go to the field. Oh, well, sometimes so you, you go out. I, you go uh, out to the field. Uh, yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. And, mm -hmm. and what do you do when you go to the field? Uh, sometimes uh, see the project. Oh, um, okay. See the constructions. Construction. Mm -hmm. Okay. Very good. Okay. Yes. Okay. Uh -huh. Very good. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. So you're the boss. Uh -huh. Uh, really? Yeah, because I, it's yeah, my say, own. Say yes, I, own. I am the boss. <laughs> yes, I am uh, the boss. Okay, very good. And what time do you go, when, whenever you go out to the field, what time do you go to work? In this is profession, no exists the, the mm -hmm. own time um, frame. hours. Uh, time frame. Time, time frame. So yeah, uh -huh, yes, because uh, yes, uh, that, I, I understand. Nor, Mike, nor, normal, normally, <laughs> normally, uh, the time is eight, uh, eight, I am to four p.m. Eight a.m. Construction. Oh, okay. No, uh -huh. but when you go to work, what time do you you use, usually go to work? Five a.m. in the morning. Uh, 6 a.m. in the morning, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 1 p.m. What time? 8, 8, 8 p.m., 6, 6 p.m. Gerardo, Gerardo, be easy on me. Please help me. <laughs> what time do you go to work? 7, 8, 9 p.m.? For example, if you, if you have to go tomorrow, go. if you have to go tomorrow to oh, okay. out in the field, what time okay. would you go? What time? Nine. Nine. Okay. Nine. Very, very yeah. good. Nine. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Of course, you're the boss. Nine. Nine a.m. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah. Very good. Nine a.m. And um, what time um uh, um do you come back? Uh, or what time do you get home? When you go at nine. Uh, nine a.m. What time do yeah. you get home? Um, maybe five. Maybe five. Okay. Six. Okay, mm -hmm. so you, you usually go for eight hours. Um, usually. Usually, okay. Very good, thank you. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Gerardo. And Patricia, good morning. Hello. Where, where do you work? I am a sales person. Oh, so you are a sales person, so you are self-employee? Mm -hmm. You are a self-employee, so you work for yourself or you work for mm -hmm. somebody else? Eres tu propia empleada o trabaja para alguien más? Yes, sir. Uh, my uh, propia empleada. Self-employed. And uh, what yes, what do you do when you go out and sell? I mean, um, you you go house by house, or you go to a company, or you go to the stores. So what do you do? Where 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 in my house? Okay, so so you you sell online. Yes, sir. Freelance. You work so you sell things online, and what do you sell? What do you sell? No comprendo, sir. No comprendo, no comprendo. Okay. What what? What do you sell? Sell. ¿Qué vendes? Um, envases plásticos desechables. Okay. Okay. So it's a kind of a plastic. You are in the plastic industry. And um, what time do you start working? What time um, do you start eight, working? Eight. Um, I'm eight. eight. I am. 8 a.m. in the morning? Yes. Oh, okay. In the morning. Excellent. And um, what time uh, do you finish working? Um, 
sé, el horario me lo doy yo, me lo pongo yo. Sí, 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 of course, yes. What time do you finish working? Yo sí, no sé, es el 1 p.m., 2 p.m., 3 p.m., 5 p.m. No, pero be easy on me. Hazme lo bien fácil, por favor. What time do you finish working? I finish working at 5 p.m. 5 p.m. Okay, very good, very good. Not too late. Okay, and do you drive? Yes. Okay, and uh, you never have to go out and sell things. You always sell at home. Um, at home. It, uh, el cell phone, no lo entiendo, el cell phone. At, at home. At home. At home. At uh, the... 3 p.m. Okay, okay, very good. Excelente. Excelente, Patricia. Thank you very much. Espero que no, okay. no los ponga eh, uncomfortable con, la, con, con las preguntas. And, um, Mr. Hernan, thank you, thank you, Patricia. Mr. Hernan, eh, where do you work? Uh, I work in business. Technology. Okay. Where do you work? Where do you work? Eh, o sea, me está preguntando dónde trabajo. Sí, correcto. Sí. Leo, I, I work, o sea, una empresa de tecnología, business, technology. ¿Qué? So, so you, you work in, I, in I a work, company. I work. You work in a company. Uh -huh. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Uh -huh. You work in a company. Very good. And what do you do there? Um, uh, um, administration. So, uh, administration. Are you? Are, are you the manager? Are you the CEO? Are, uh, you are, are the you chief manager. You are the manager. Are you manager? you mm -hmm. are the manager. Okay. You are manager. And what time do you go to work? Mm, normally, nine a.m. Nine a.m. Okay. Okay, nine a.m. Okay, it's not too late. Very good. And uh, when do you get home? Uh, I get home seven p.m. Seven p.m. Okay, at seven p.m. Very good. Yes. Excellent. Thank you, Mr. Carmona. And uh, Loida Pineda, how are you today? Look at that smile. You have a beautiful smile. And um. What do you do for a living? Thank you very much. You're welcome. What do you do for a living? In this moment, I unemployed. You are unemployed. So I. But when yes. you worked, when you worked, what did you do? Uh, I used to work for the government. Okay. Uh, in the past uh, administration. Okay, the past. So. Yes. So when I change the government, I um, was uh, unemployed. So you, okay, you have been unemployed since uh, there was. Uh, yes. Yeah. Okay. Very good. Yes. What did yes. you do there? And what did you do there? Uh, where? Yeah. What? The government. Yes. Yes. Uh -huh. When you work for what, the government, uh, what did you do there? Uh, uh, I um, used to uh, be a technician. A technician. Okay. So, so you work a in the. Okay. So in the in the technological. In the, in the area of education, education. for the platform. Uh, Yes. Oh, okay. So you're very smart. 
My goodness. <laughs> Thank you very much. And uh, when you used to work for the government, uh, what time do you uh, go to work? Did you go to work? Usually I start to work at 7.30 a.m. And I finish it at 3.30 uh, oh, p.m. Okay. So, and when did you get home? Um, for about 4 p.m. At 4 p.m. Okay, very good. At 4 p.m. Not too bad. Yes, very early, actually. Yes, of <laughs> course. Yes. Early, early. You had the uh, yes. uh, time to do other things. Very good. Excellent. Thank you. Yes. Lloyd in this moment, I, I am in, uh, at home. Okay. Yes. Housekeeper. The, <laughs> you are in the luxury of home. Yes. You're the, <laughs> yes. yes. It's a luxury yes. to be home. Yes. Very good. And um, thank you. Thank you. Pina. Thank and you. Stephanie Ramirez. How are you, lady in red? Good evening. <laughs> good evening. How are you today? Pretty good. Very good. And uh, where where do you work? Um, I'm secretary. Okay, so you 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 work as a secretary. And where do you work? In a company. In, in a private clinic. Oh, private clinic. Very good. Excellent. And what do yes. you do there as a secretary? I, um, I attend the patient. Oh, okay. So you help. While, while the medic, medic <laughs> uh, come. Okay. The doctors? The medic, the medic come. Mm -hmm. The doctors? Yeah. Okay, so so you help the so you talk to the patients and try to make time by, by waiting for the doctors to arrive. And do do you yeah. do you, do you give uh, coffee in the morning? No. No. <laughs> no, it's oh, okay. An, uh, so it's no, small, no podemos llegar entonces clinic. porque no hay café. <laughs> y vamos a ir todos los de la clase. <laughs> 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 okay and so so you help uh, the, the patients uh, and waiting for the doctors to arrive and um, what time do you go to work usually go to work I usually go to the, to the work uh, from 2 p.m. to 5 p.m. so at 2 p.m. at 2 p.m. In uh, yes. from two to five is your shift. Part time okay. job. Okay, so so but what time do you leave uh, home? Five p.m. Sometimes six p.m. No, from from home to the work to work to the place where you work. What time do you leave home? Mm. So, so if you start working at one o'clock in the afternoon, mm. what time <clears throat> you leave home? 12, 11, 10? ¿A qué hora sales no. de la casa? One, uh, one thirty p.m. Si empiezas a trabajar a la una y sales a la una y media de la casa, ya llegas tarde. <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> because I I live in Santa Cruz, Michapa, and my job is in Cojutepec. It's okay. near. Posiblemente yo yo me he equivocado. Entendí que trabajaba entrabas a la una de la tarde y trabajabas de una a cinco de la tarde. Yeah. Sí. Y sales no. a las doce. No. From okay. two. From 2 p.m. to 5 p.m. Okay, from 2 to 5. Oh, okay. So you did. Okay, that makes sense. Yes, yes. I'm sorry. So I'm no. Quizás esto no sirve. Okay. So, so, in, uh, so when do you get home? I'm sorry. Can you repeat? Please? Yes. When do you get home? Around um, five five thirty. Yeah. Five five thirty. Okay, that makes sense. Yes, 
And is uh, do you, do you drive or or you ride the bus? And ride the bus. Oh, okay. So so you don't have to worry about traffic, huh? No. Yeah, very good. There it's, is that's, a that's, yeah, traffic in Cotopeque. <laughs> Okay, thank you very much, Stephanie. Linda Funes. Hello, Linda. How are you? Why are you so serious? What happened? Hello. Hello. How are you? Hi. <laughs> okay. And where do you work, Linda? I work for a company to sell computer. Oh, so so you 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 sell computer, and do you guys do repairs as well? Yes. Oh, okay, and what do you do there? Are you a I, technician or? Uh, I am an accountant. An accountant. Yes. Okay, so you work with numbers. You're you're with good. Numbers. You're good uh, in math, huh? So so. <laughs> <laughs> No, you have to. <laughs> and what time do you go to work? I go to work at the 8 a.m. So you go to work at 8 a.m.? Yes. And you start working at 9 or 10? At 9. 9. Okay, very good. And when do you get home? I get home around of the 7 p.m. At 7 p.m.? It's a long day, huh? And do you drive or, or you ride the bus? Drive. The bus? I drive. Oh, you drive. You drive. Yeah. Very good. Yes. And uh, is there a lot of traffic when you go to work and you come in, come back mm -hmm. home? A little traffic. A little traffic. Very good. Yes. It's too tedious when there is a, a lot of traffic, though, jamming everywhere. So good for you. Thank you. Linda Funes for your time. And Enrique Maradiaga, my goodness. Are you a, a soccer player, Maradiaga? No? No? No, no, no quiero hablar conmigo. That's okay. Sorry. Oh. Sorry, sorry. <laughs> Good evening. Good evening, Enrique. How are you today? How are you today? Uh, uh, okay. Very good. Just so, okay, very good. And um, do you work? Yes. And, and where do you work? In, in, este, in, in a industrial textile factory okay so you work in a factory factory okay and what do you do there yes and what do you do there yo creo que él está en Miami ah ¿eh? desde Miami yes. <laughs> <laughs> no, no entiendo, no entiendo, dear. ¿Ah? Estás en Miami ahorita, ¿verdad? Estás en la playa y nosotros aquí trabajando, tú en la playa. Qué malo. What, what do you do there? What do you do there? ¿Qué haces allí? There. There, there. ¿Qué haces allí? Ah, perdón. No, that's okay, that's okay. Ok, y hay am... I am the day technician. Day technician. And as a day technician, what do you do? Do you repair? What do you repair? Sorry? Um, as a day technician, what do you do? Do you repair uh, computers or, or machines? What do you do? Uh, oh. Okay, okay, in laboratory. Laboratory, okay. Very good. In color, color gray, color gray. Okay. And what time do you go to work? What time do you go to work? In, 
I go to work six forty-five a.m. Uh, at six forty-five a.m. And uh, what time do you get home? Uh, I am in my home is seven o'clock. Seven o'clock. Okay. Long day, huh? From seven to seven is uh, almost uh, twelve hours. Uh, yeah, thirty five. No sé se kilometer. Kilometers. 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 Yeah, or miles. Thirty five kilometers. Kilometers. Okay, so you drive. Do you drive? Uh, sometimes <laughs> I drive my motorcycle. Oh, your motorcycle. Okay, that's mm -hmm. that must and be exciting. I drive. A... Sorry. That must must be exciting, you know, riding a motorcycle. Yes, yeah, mm -hmm. me, I. I prefer my motorcycle. Motorcycle is better for you. Okay, very good. Excellent. Mm -hmm. Okay, Enrique, thank you very much. Thank you for your time. And Sylvia Luna. Mm -hmm. Sylvia Luna. How are you, Sylvia? <laughs> Hello, teacher. Hello, how are you today? I'm fine, teacher. And you, how are you, teacher? Okay. I'm, I'm doing well. Thank you. I'm, I'm making... You guys nervous already, right? Everybody's so nervous. Though. But this is yes, this is type of uh, it's it's a, it's excited though doing this thing. And where do you work, uh, Silvia Luna? I'm a secretary teacher. Yes, and also you work as a secretary. In yes, I'm secretary, and I work in the hospital cadre. Oh, there we time. go. So you work in a hospital. In a hospital, yes, and I attend patients. I had um, like call center. I received all call. Okay. okay. I worked um, uh, 8 p.m. to 5 p.m. Okay, that sounds uh, very exciting. And also, yes, uh, yes. And I had uh, one hour for uh, my lunch. Uh huh. One hour lunch. Yeah. Also, um, I don't know. I come back my home like five to ten because my work is near to my house. So it's close to. You live close to the place where you work. Yes. Oh, that's great! Oh my goodness. No, yes, I I walk to my. Sorry. No me dejaste preguntarte nada. Me lo dijiste todo. <laughs> No, that's okay. That's fine. Yes, that means that you were paying attention. Yes, that's great. Yes, congratulations. Congratulations. Very good. Thank you, Sylvia. Thank you, and, uh, Thank you. Yosebeth Martinez, how are you today? Hello? I couldn't hear you. Se fue? Okay, Mabel Franco. How are you today, Mabel? I'm fine. Uh, very exhausting. Exhausted. Yes, me too. I'm exhausted. Yes, uh, it has been a long, long day. Yes, I understand. Yes. And I'm sorry, but I have to ask you the questions. <laughs> okay. <then. laughs> so uh, tell me, where, <laughs> yeah, where do you work, uh, uh, Mabel? I work at ABX. ABX. As the company, um, the, yes. And what is the company? Ele electronic capacitors. Okay, electronic capacitors. Oh, capacitors. oh my god that's great so so you sell components computer components and all those things right yes 
todos se me están yendo, ¿por qué? Se van, se van. <risa> se les van. Ahorita se les va la señal, se te, el internet se corta y todo. <risa> Sí, y si no por tu entrevío. Yeah. <risa> ya, no, ya no vuelvo a hacer. Ya, ya no vuelvo a hacer esta, esta <risa> actividad porque no me gusta. Vamos a, a jugar mejor a Cajut otra vez. <risa> Eso estuvo bueno. <risa> ¿Sí? Se fue. Ok. Vamos a ver. Roxana Elizabeth, how are you? Oh, there she is. Ok, maybe. I'm so sorry, teacher, in no. the problem. In yes, the yes. No, no, that's ok, that's ok. Thank you for coming back. So, um, tell me, what do you do there? What do you do there? Me. Yes. Ask, uh, ask for me. Yes, uh -huh. maybe. Um, I am a security auditor. Okay, security. Okay, so, so you have a gun, you carry a gun. Oh, a shot. No. Shut. Oh my God. Janet, no le enojes, eh? No le enojes. Tiene una shotgun. <laughs> He's just saying, saying, okay. It's my job. It's very, 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 very fine. Yes. It's, very it's fine. fine. It's Okay. Yes. Ya, ya no te voy a hacer preguntas, ok, ya terminamos ahí ya. Okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. And, and what time do you go to work? Maybe. No, estaba, estaba bromeando, maybe. Ah, okay. <laughs> what time do you what time do you go to work? At uh, 7, 7 a.m. 7 a.m. At 7 a.m. And what time do you get home? Yes. And what time do you get 4 home? p.m. 4 p.m. So you work uh, at 4 uh, p.m. Yeah. Eight hours. So your shift is, is about uh, eight hours. Very good. Yes. Excellent. Eight Excellent. hours. Well, thank you very much. Maybe. Thank you. Thank you for your time. Thank you. Okay. Roxana Elizabeth. How are you? Hi, teacher. And do good you evening. Work? Good evening. And do you work? Uh, at the moment, no. no but, but you used to work. Um, I am teacher in leather. leather. Okay, so you used in to education. work in education. So you are a teacher. And where do yes. you work? It's a private school or it's a, a, a public school? Uh, at the problem... No. Pub uh, public or private? At the moment, no. Yes, when, when you used to work before, you used two, to work two. in a two. private school or in a public school? In the private school. Pri private. Colegio. Huh? See, private. Yes. Okay, college, private college. Yes. Okay, very good. And as a teacher, what did you do there? Yeah. Yes. As a teacher. Siempre. <laughs> yes, you. Yes, yes. As uh, a teacher, how did you do there? What did you do? ¿Qué es lo que eh, clases y lenguaje y literatura. Okay, language, uh, literature. Okay, very good. So you were the uh, literature the teacher. And what time do you go to work? Repeat, please. Yes. What time did you go to work? Um, in the morning. What time? Uh, seven o'clock. Seven, okay, seven o'clock in the morning. And when did you get home? In the morning. When did you get home, back home? Roxana no quiere que le hable, me apaga el micrófono. Ya cayó tu teacher. No, lo que pasa es que tengo... 
a mis children. Entonces, hacen muy Ah, díganles que hablen también, que le ayuden. Hacen mucho ruido, entonces por eso yo lo apago cada rato. Mm, okay. okay, and what time the, did you get home when you used to work? No? No, lo entiendo. Okay, what time did you get back home? ¿A qué hora llegabas a la casa? Ah. Uh, mm. uh, 1 p.m. 1 p.m. Okay, so it was oh, okay. So it was a half shift. Era medio tiempo. Yes. Oh, okay. Very good. Yes. Okay. Thank you, Roxana, Elizabeth uh, for your time and thank you all of you for your time. Eh, estaba haciendo esto es lo que vieron ustedes en la plataforma en el capítulo 1 y el capítulo 2. Las preguntas que yo les estaba haciendo son las que eh, han estado estudiando en, en el 1 y en el 2. Ahí vamos a hacer los exámenes eh, o las pruebas o el knowledge uh, test para ver uh, cómo leemos y, y cómo, cómo entendemos la información. Entonces, todo lo que yo les estaba preguntando es del capítulo 1 y del capítulo 2. Es las, los dos capítulos en uno. Y si todavía no, no lo entienden, si tienen problemas de eh, entenderlo, eh, les recomiendo yo, les aconsejo que vuelvan otra vez a repasarlos, todas esas, todas esas, desde el, desde el capítulo 1, desde 1.1, 1.1, hasta el capítulo 2. Todo eso para que lo vuelvan a repetir otra vez, tal vez la segunda vez ya es más claro para ustedes, porque a esta, esta altura ya cuando yo decía uh, where do you work, ya sé, porque hemos estado estudiando las WH questions, ¿se acuerdan? El word significaba eh, lugar, cuando yo digo where do you work, ya automáticamente ustedes eh, no tenían que haber contestado I am a secretary o I am a, a, a manager, sino que el lugar donde se trabajaba. Where do you work? I work at a hospital. I work at a private company. I work at school. I work at the office. I work, I am self-employed at work. I work at home. Entonces, ¿de dónde trabaja usted? Trabajo en la casa, trabajo en la compañía, trabajo en, en el gobierno, trabajo en esto. Esa era la respuesta que yo estaba esperando. And what do you do there? Es, uh, deme, eh, uh, eh, descríbame qué es lo que hacía, qué es lo que hace y por ejemplo eh, la que me explicó, mire yo le ayudo a los pacientes cuando lo, los doctores no están y estoy esperando que los doctores ya, yo les ayude a los pacientes esa es la respuesta what do you do there ¿Ya? pero si uh, eh, no entendió la, la pregunta entonces hay que ir a, a repasar eso, solo a repasarlo porque si sí contestaron, todos contestaron verdad me contestaron, así que congratulations. And what time do you go to work? What time do you go to work? Eso es a qué hora se va al trabajo, no a qué horas comienza a trabajar, porque si usted comienza a trabajar a las 8, usted se va a las 5, a las 6 y media de la mañana. Entonces, what time do you go to work? Ah, I usually go to work uh, at 7 a.m. And what time do you start working? Era mi otra pregunta, ¿verdad? Si ya me decía a qué hora se va, and what time are you, do you start working? Oh, I start working at 9 a.m. in the morning. Y what time do you get home? ¿A qué hora regresa a su casa? Esa es la última pregunta. ¿A qué hora sale y a qué hora regresa a su casa? ¿Qué es lo que hace ahí? ¿Dónde trabaja? Era, esas son las, las cuatro preguntas uh, que vamos a, a, a tratar de, de hacerlas otra vez cuando, en, el, en el tercero. El jueves nos toca el midterm. No sé si ya lo hicieron o algunos están trabajando en ello, pero si hay algo que les puede ayudar, avísenme. Uh, vamos a, a repasar o vamos a, a ver una preposición que es bien importante. Eh, cuando usted dice un tiempo, usted tiene que decir la preposición at. At. At es una preposición bien importante que necesitamos. Eh, es, a veces es, es complicada. Cuando uno está aprendiendo inglés, es, es un poco o complicado porque puede ser tricky. ¿Saben qué es tricky? Tricky. 
palabra tricky. No. Tricky es cuando, cuando no, nos... es complicado. ¿Mm? Janet, ¿qué dijo? Eh, no respondí yo, pero eh, tricky podría ser complicado o confuso. Confuso, confuso. Esa es la palabra, Cor. Esa es la palabra que andaba buscando. Confuso. Can be tricky es, es algo confuso. O sea, no sé si usar... Eh, tricky, en, cuando si, si tenemos el en y el at, como nosotros en español eh, traducimos todo, entonces eh, lo traducimos todos de en en y usamos el in, por eso puede ser un tricky cuando estamos aprendiendo inglés el uso de at entonces lo que voy a aprovechar es enseñarles cuatro usos del at para que usted en cualquier eh, situación que usted encuentre diga, oh ok aquí se usa el at y no se usa el in uh, I go to work at 7am in the morning I, um, I get home at 5pm uh, in the afternoon ¿Sí? at 5 p.m. in the afternoon. Entonces, esa, cuando va a decir tiempo, tenemos que usar el at. Todo el tiempo, at. Y vamos a hacer unos ejemplos también para que quede esto bien claro para cada uno de ustedes. Les voy a ayudar en ese aspecto de aclarecer el uso del at. ¿Ok? Entonces, eh, vamos a hacer eso. Voy a compartir la pantalla, si ustedes me permiten. Eh, compartirles eh, la pantalla para poder, la pizarra más que todo. ¿Está bien? Entonces vamos a compartir la pizarra y vamos a ver el uso del at. Y dijimos que podría ser tricky. Tricky se escribe así, tricky. Yeah. Tricky. Ese es, esa es la palabra que les dije yo. Tricky es, es algo que es, es confuso. Cuando nosotros estamos... Uh, porque no hay una, una regla en sí que diga, ok, así se tiene que escribir esto. Entonces, eh, lo que vamos a aprender es at. ¿Y qué es uh, at? Es una preposición de tiempo. At es a uh, pre... Es a pre... Preposition of time. Podemos decir esto. The at is a preposition of time. Si le pudiéramos dar alguna uh, definición. Entonces, vamos a, a estudiar el at. Y el primero, uh, vamos a ver she, un ejemplo, por ejemplo, sería um, Janet. Janet, uh, Janet sits, sits at her desk. Ok, este sería... Un ejemplo que podríamos decir, Janet sits at her desk. En este caso, uh, Patricia, el at, ¿qué es lo que me está indicando? El at, que está sentada sobre el desk, está sentada sobre su escritorio, está sentada adentro del escritorio, está sentada a un lado del escritorio, Está sentada detrás del escritorio, está sentada enfrente del escritorio. Ah, sí. ¿O qué piensa usted que está diciendo el at en esa, en esa uh, sentence? ¿No? Ok. No hay problema, Patricia, no se preocupe. Ok, en este eh, me está dando una posición de Janet. Me está indicando una posición que ella se encuentra at, o sea, donde está el escritorio, ahí está ella, at her desk. Eh, eso es lo que me está indicando, me está indicando una posición en este caso. Entonces vamos a ver los usos de, de, del at. En primero vamos a, a usar used to point out specific time. At uh, used to point out Specific time. ¿Qué es lo que eh, en las preguntas que le estaba haciendo a usted se usaba para eso? Para apuntar a un tiempo específico. Ok. Por ejemplo, Patricia, digo yo, Patricia, Patricia, I 
will meet you at ¿sí? specific time at uh, como usted trabaja a esa hora at uh, 10 a.m. ¿Sí? at 10 a.m. Es un tiempo específico, lo uso para indicar un tiempo específico. Patricia, I will meet you at 10 a.m. Eh, ese sería a las 10 y media, 9.45, a las 10 y 15, o a las 10 y 5, o a las 10 exactamente, Patricia. A las 10 exactamente. Exactamente. Entonces, por eso se llama use to point out specific time. Es un tiempo específico. Cuando usted quiere indicar que quiere encontrarse con alguien a un tiempo específico, usted le dice at, le pone la palabra at, que es la preposition, preposition que le está indicando que a ese tiempo usted quiere ver a las personas, ¿ya? Eh, ¿Quién me dijo que, que tomaba el bus para irse a trabajar? Stephanie, Stephanie me dijo que usaba el microbús para el bus para irse a trabajar, ¿verdad? Sí. Entonces, usted lo, ahí por su casa está la, la bus stop. No. Yes. Ok, ok. Entonces, el bus tiene una hora específica. Bueno, supuestamente tiene que tener una hora específica, ¿verdad? Entonces, ella dice, hey, teacher, uh, I'm going to meet you at... Uh, 11 a.m. Uh, at Metro Center because the bus the bus will stop here que donde es here en la bus stop verdad at a qué horas diríamos hey. yeah 845 8.45 a.m. Ok. ¿Qué estamos uh, indicando allí, uh, Stephanie? Estamos indicando un tiempo específico que son las 8 y 45 AM. A esa hora esperamos nosotros que el bus pase, porque le estamos poniendo The bus will stop here at 8.45 AM. ¿Sí? Podemos ver a uh, todos eso. El, el uso del at a este momento. Teacher. Sí, yes. No me, no, habla Patricia. Eh, no me queda bien claro. Ok. En el tiempo específico cuando dice Janet sits at her, her desk. Si estamos hablando que es una preposición de tiempo específico. Ajá. ¿Por qué se está usando el at? Sí, ok. Y si no es... está hablando de tiempo. Sí, sí, perdón, perdón, la estoy confundiendo, sí, sí. Este fue un ejemplo ah. solamente eh, para, como introducción al tema de, de, de la preposición at. Solo fue una introducción al tema. Esto no tiene nada que ver con el tiempo. Esto en realidad es, es el segundo punto que vamos a discutir, que el at se usa también para indicar un place, un lugar. ¿Sí? Ah, okay. Entonces, este ahorita no tiene nada que ver con, con, con este que estamos... Este es, es, es totalmente eh, ajeno a lo que estamos viendo. Ah, el primer uso es, es el tiempo específico. Es el primero, poder sí. Utilizar el es, es el primero. Es, es el, el primero, específico. sí. Este es lo primero que estamos viendo. El otro fue nomás un, un preámbulo para entrar al tema. Ah, sí. Perdón. Okay. No, 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 no. Perdónenme usted a mí porque yo no, 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 no dejé eso claro. Sí, este es el primero. El otro fue un ejemplo solamente para entrar al tema del at. Y at decimos que es una preposición. Eh, primero lo estamos usando, que estamos viendo que se usa to point out specific time. Cuando usted tiene que indicar un, un tiempo específico, usa el at, no usa el in. Patricia, I will meet you in 10 a.m. No se puede. Or on 10 a.m. Tampoco se puede usar el on o el in, sino que el, si es específico se usa el at, ¿ya? Yeah? Okay. La segunda es cuando el at is used to indicate indicate a place, 
¿ok? En este lugar es, en este caso vamos a ver ejemplos que vamos a usar ese, el at, para indicar place. ¿Qué es el place, Oscar? ¿Qué es lo que indicamos? Lugares. Lugares. Lugares, lugares exacto. Ok. Eh, eh, Ok, vamos a tener una fiesta. ¿Dónde quisieras tener la fiesta, eh, Oscar? Uh, the beach. At the beach. Ok. And there, there is a party. A party. Yeah. At the beach. Yeah. There is a party at the beach. Ok. Entonces, aquí el at lo estamos usando para indicar que El lugar. El lugar. Place. El place, yes. Entonces, at the beach. ¿A dónde en la playa? No sabemos a dónde en la playa. Pero the party is going to be at the beach. Bien. Entonces, lo usamos de esa forma también. Ya esa es la segunda forma que usamos el at para indicar un place. Yes. Yes. Ok. Eh, um, ¿Dónde se reúnen bastante gente? Ok, podemos decir que en Metro Centro. Ya. Yeah. ¿Podemos decir eso? There, there were hundreds. Hundreds, hundreds of people at Metro Centro. Yeah. Okay, there were hundreds of people at Metro Center. Ok, es, nuevamente estamos usando el at, ¿para qué? Para indicar un lugar, at Metro Center. ¿A dónde Metro Center, Enrique Maradiaga? Where at Metro Center, Enrique? Uh, Pizza Hub. Ok. ¿Sí? At Metro Centro. Y entonces le ponemos en Pizza. Pizza Hut. ¿Saben qué quiere decir Hut? ¿No? ¿Ni idea? No. Hut quiere decir eh, sombrero. Chosa. ¿Sí? Chosa. Algo así. Hut. Puede ser la pizza la, de la Chosa. Ok, there were hundreds of people at Metro Centro en Pizza Hut. Ok, quiere decir que estaba at Metro Centro y ahora le pusimos el otro preposition que, que no quiero que se concentre en él todavía, pero para indicar el lugar ya, porque si yo solo pongo at Metro Centro, no sabemos a dónde va a ser. Ya, yeah? at Metro Centro nomás está indicando un lugar, un place, pero no está indicando un lugar específico. Sí. En Metro Centro, ¿ya? Entonces, at sirve para indicar un place, pero no específicamente un place, sino que solamente en general, ¿ya? Used to indicate a place. ¿Alguna pregunta? Ya es la segunda. Eh, teacher. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Eh, Silvia Luna, eh, teacher, eh, we can use eh, at for a specific time. En place to. Sí. Uh -huh. Pero el específico place aquí, ¿cuál es? Metrocentro, ¿verdad? Sí, yes, metrocentro. Ahora, en metrocentro no tenemos, este no indica un specific, uh, un specific place en metrocentro. Ya en metrocentro no está indicando un specific. Está indicando específicamente en metrocentro, pero metrocentro es grande. Sí. Uh -huh. Entonces el at para indicar un place solamente. Okay. You okay? Okay. Okay. Uh, we saw. ¿Quién vio el partido? ¿Cuál? Cualquier de los dos. Ah, se mete pan. We saw meta pan. Meta, meta pan soccer uh, game. At, ¿a dónde lo vimos? The stadium. Sí, sí. No, fuimos al estadio. 
<laughs> okay, at the stadium, yes. Okay. Sí, porque no podemos, no podemos decir at TV, ¿verdad? Porque estamos indicando lugar. Entonces lo vemos en el estadio. We saw a, a, a Metapan soccer game. Dice Metapan. Ah, no, tiene que ir ahí. We saw Metapan soccer game at the stadium. ¿Ya? Yeah? Entonces, eh, este es otro ejemplo que estamos usando el at en este lugar para indicar un lugar, un place. ¿Ya? Yeah? ¿Estamos bien ahí? Y la otra que, que muchos lo, lo hemos usado eh, es used to uh, indicate, the, indicate an email address. Yeah, an email address. Ese es el que muchos lo han usado. Y sería, please... Um, Uh, Roxana, 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 uh, uh, please email me at at a b c at d e f g dot com. Okay, so aquí estamos usando el at to indicate an email address. ¿Sí? Eh, ahí lo único que está haciendo el at es eh, indicando una, un correo electrónico. That's it. Entonces, tenemos tres. Specific time, place, and used to indicate an email address. ¿Estamos bien hasta ahí? ¿Sí? Sí. ¿Loida? Ok. Y el último que vamos a ver es uh, el used to indicate an activity. An activity. ¿Ok? El último que vamos a ver es uh, que se usa para indicar una actividad. Eh, eh, vamos a ver, Roxana. Roxana. Left. La... Left. Left. At uh, my uh, my job acting. Acting. Mm. Sí. Estoy indicando una actividad. ¿Cuál es la actividad? Linda Funes, ¿cuál es la actividad? La... Que es... La, esa palabra no sé cómo se pronuncia. Laugh, laugh, laugh es. Laugh. <risas> Ese es laugh. <left>, yeah? <risas> no es smile. Smile es uh, como tú te reíste, Linda Funes, al principio. Ese es smile. Carcajada. Y es laugh es carcajada. <risas> yeah? Entonces, Roxana laughed at my acting. <coughs> ¿El qué está indicando esto? ¿Y ¿Cuál es la actividad que está indicando esto? La. No, no. Esa es la acción que está pasando, pero está indicando qué actividad. ¿Alguien? ¿Cualquiera? Actuación. Actuación. Acting, correcto, Actuación. sí. Ajá, el acting está indicando esa actividad, el acting, ¿ya? Yeah. ¿Sí? Ok, ahora, si, si yo digo esto, I am good, I am good at, uh, at numbers, I'm good at numbers, ok, ¿cuál es la actividad? Who is good Cálculos at... numéricos. Es bueno a los números, ¿verdad? Esa es la actividad. And who is good at numbers? Los cálculos matemáticos. Sí, pero ¿quién es buena en los números? Aquí dijo. Yo. Era... <laughs> Yo soy. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> yeah. You, you are good at numbers. So, 
a, a, para indicar la actividad que eres buena en los números, nosotros decimos, you are good at numbers. ¿Ya? ¿Estamos bien ahí? ¿Ya te dormí, Gerardo? Todavía no, más o menos. <ríe> ok, entonces tenemos esta. Tenemos, uh, hemos visto el at, siempre lo habíamos visto de diferente forma, ¿verdad? Nos habían dicho que at era una preposición, pero hoy lo vimos de diferente point of view. Lo vimos como specific time, indicate place, email address, and activity. So tenemos cuatro formas de ver el at y de las cuatro formas uh, ya más o menos tenemos una idea cuándo es que lo vamos a usar. ¿Ok? ¿Alguna pregunta de cómo usar el at? ¿Estamos bien? Ok, vamos a cerrar esto y vamos a, a aquí. Ok, go ahead, please. Sí, ¿cuál es su pregunta? Uh, por ejemplo, I can, I can use uh, at, uh, por ejemplo, this, uh, uh, I was uh, to New York at uh, last year. This is valid, no? At last year, no. No, no. no. Mm -mm. It's correct. It, it's not correct, no. At, I was uh, at New York last year. Yes, I was at New York last year. Eso es correcto, sí. Así como se dice. I was at New York last year. Está indicando ahí un lugar, un place. Oh, okay, okay. okay. So okay. for uh, exactly uh, date, for example, uh, sorry, uh, bueno, no, no recuerdo cómo se dice en la fecha, pero por ejemplo, eh, que estuve, bueno, no, no sé cómo hacer la pregunta, es como si puedo usar at en, en fechas exactas, como por ejemplo 2006 o cosas así. Sí, at, uh, at New Year, at New, at New Year, yes. Puede usar eh, eventos exactos. At, uh, at the party, lo que vimos en día y que vimos at the party. At uh, New York, pero, pero no se puede usar at uh, 2000, no se puede usar así. Ok, very good. Ok, vamos a tratar de, de hacer el, el, este, este quiz. Eh, what, en este vamos a usar el do y el does. El do lo usamos para uh, I do, you do, we do, you do, and they do. Y el does lo ocupamos para he does, she does, and it does. En este caso, I am a full-time student. I study the violin. What, ¿Cuál sería la respuesta? What do you do or what does do, you do? Do, 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 do? What do? Yes, porque es, do. ¿verdad? Y en el dos, where do you, do you go? So, where do you go? go? It's go, go, teacher. Where do you go? Okay, where, where do you go? Where do you go? Y en la tercera es, uh, how do you like your class or where do you like your class? How. How. How, how do you like your how. class? Yes. What uh, do Tanya do or what does Tanya do? Does. Does, porque es tercera das. persona, ¿verdad? Es she. Y en este, what does she do exactly? She teaches math. Teaches. Or teaches. 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 teaches, porque es tercera persona y el verbo siempre se le agrega la es. En este caso, es. What, uh, what about Ryan? Where does he work? He works or he works for a big company? Works. He works. 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 Very good. Works. And the seven is uh, where does he do exactly or what does he do exactly? What? What? What, what does he do exactly? Very good. Okay, we got 100% in this quiz. Let's see what we're going to get. Uh, on the 2.9.
Ok, so a este es el que acabamos de ver. Las tres cosas. Complete the sentences with a time expression. Del at. Entonces, I get up at, on, or in six o'clock. At. At. At, porque el tiempo específico. At six o'clock. Eh, number two. I go to bed late. At. At, at, at night. At, at, at night. Because it's, it's specific. I start work on 11.30 in 11.30 or at 11.30? At. 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 For a specific time. I have lunch at 2 p.m. at the afternoon. In, in the afternoon. In, in the afternoon. In. 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 Okay. in. No estamos específico. I stayed up at 1 a.m. At weekends, mm. on weekends, or in weekends? On weekends. On weekends. On weekends. On weekends. On weekends. On weekends. Very good. I wake up late on Sundays. On, on Sundays. Sundays. On, on Sundays. On Sunday. Sundays. ¿Te acuerdas que la U se ve como A? Sunday. Sunday. It's a Sunday. Yes. I watch TV at the in. evening. Oh, in, in the evening. evening. In the evening. Yes. In, the evening. in the evening. Acuérdense que esta lleva evening. dos vocales juntas. Cuando eran dos vocales juntas, la regla les dije que era que esta sonaba mm. como the. Mm -hmm. ¿Sí? The evening. Y se lee evening. Yeah. Evening. evening. No evening. Es evening. No evening. Evening. I watch TV. Evening. Yes, evening. In, in the evening. Ok. Evening. Practiquemos eso, evening. Uh, número 8. I do my homework on 4 in the afternoon, around 4 in the afternoon, or in 4 in the afternoon. Around. 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 Is it around? I work at weekends, weekdays, on weekends, or at weekends? On, 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 on weekdays. Week Día de la semana, ¿verdad? La otra es, I get home early, late the morning from my night shift, or early at the morning from my night shift, or early in, 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 the, morning. in, in the, morning. the morning. In the morning. In The morning. No de, ¿verdad? Este no se lee de, sino que este se lee ya sea the or the, pero nunca de. No existe the. esa palabra. The, cuando la palabra que le sigue es el sonido de consonante y the, cuando la palabra que the. le sigue es sonido de vocal. ¿Ok? Vamos a submit esto y agarramos 100%. Ok, you guys are good. Excelente, buen trabajo. Excellent. Okay. So, we got to the end of the class. I'm sorry for taking your time. I, I'm still in seven minutes from you guys. And I'm sorry to keep you longer. Okay. Tranquilo. Any, any question? <laughs> any question? ¿Alguna pregunta? No? For the moment, no. Okay, very good. Okay. Have a good night. I love you all. Uh, study hard and I see you tomorrow. Okay? Yes. Thank you, see you tomorrow. Okay. Thank you. See you tomorrow. Good night. Good night.